It is August 14th, 2019. This is a UT and Angel, and we wanted to do another Pepper Pusher video. We are super excited. One of our uh, priorities out here in the yard is to try as many unique varieties and grow as many unique varieties as possible to keep ourselves interested. Uh, keeping it fun kind of keeps everything uh, in perspective for us and uh, allows it to keep rolling. So. Uh, First off, I'd like to mention uh, we don't have a plan for doing these videos at all. We're just trying to one take them. We figured out uh, that's pretty much our best way of doing it. So we may not be able to profile every uh, plant that we try to grow. Also, the way we grow in buckets will make plants uh, a lot different and just our environment and things like that. So these are all uh, just personal experience opinions and won't be I don't want them necessarily being looked at too technically because it's just uh, me and Angel having fun trying out some unique things. But this pepper that we are going to try today is the cherry bomb. And what I know about the cherry bomb is it's also it's often uh, referred to or mislabeled as a hot red cherry pepper, which is a hot red cherry pepper is supposed to be five to 15,000 Scoville units. And a lot of times when you refer to the hot red cherry pepper, you're just referring to a pimento. Um, the cherry bomb pepper should only be one to 5,000 Scoville units. Another way to determine the difference between a hot red cherry pepper, which is only a, a few varieties around the pimento, is the cherry bomb pepper is round. It'll look like a cherry bomb more than you would say a uh, pimento pepper. It's got a little more tapered on the bottom, so it would look more cherry-like. So this is supposed to be one to 5,000 Scoville units. Me and Angel, we did try this one last year and uh, grew it from a plant that we wintered over from the year before. So I'm really excited. After several years in our yard, it's uh, gotten really, really strong. This one, we kind of plant it and leave it. It's our uh, trade-off for what was the Chinese five color last year. This should be a really sweet, good cooking pepper with uh, little to no heat, but Angel, go ahead and clip this off. All right, and this is the cherry bomb pepper. We'll take that in and give it a try real quick and uh, get back to you. Love you guys. Hey guys, so we're here and we're going to do a taste test on the cherry bomb pepper that we're growing right out this year. We did grow it last year and we liked it and that's why we're growing it again this year. Um, it's supposed to be a sweet, with a little bit of spice um, pepper. At least that's what our experience was last year. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a slice here. It does have a good amount of seeds and the walls are a little thick on it. Not too bad. And we're going to see if we can save seeds from this. I think this. we're getting a lot of blur, but... We, uh... Our big, 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 big time seed savers. We have so many... Oh my gosh, we have so many seeds, you guys. It's ridiculous. But we like to save a lot of seeds and then we also like to share a lot with other people in the community, friends and family, anybody who could use them or would like to grow anything that we've grown. And in a lot of cases there are a lot of times where we could have cross pollination. Um, some people don't mind that. We don't mind necessarily about cross contamination. Um, but with the cherry bomb, We've pretty much kept it by itself both years, and so um, it's most likely that it's not cross-contaminated. But I'm going to cut a piece Those up. look like strong seeds. Holy cow. Yeah. There's a lot of what looks like moisture bubbles inside here. That looks crazy. So hopefully that's not hot. <laughs> I mean, it was juicy. It kind of sprayed a little bit when I cut it, but we're going to... Uh, yeah, go I don't smell any heat coming from it. Give this a taste. Here, let me cut off a piece. It 
It is very sweet. It reminds me of a bell pepper flavor, the sweet bell pepper. Can you determine? But it any does heat on have it, a little bit of heat. Yes. Can you get a good view on that? That's really bizarre. Those little pustules. Yeah, so that's kind of different. Now that we got that one off the plant, a bunch of those little nubs will take off too. And this is our first pepper for this plant this season. But it has a bell pepper flavor to me with a little bit of spice to it. It's actually really good. It's sweet. It's so mild. You could you you could eat this pepper without no problem. Yeah, it could be a snack. Even pepper. if you're not a if you're not a heat person, this this would add almost a negligent amount to any kind of food you would add it to so yeah it's very very little spice and it doesn't last long at all um it's sweet it's good and it was juicy um this is our first pepper off this plant so hopefully the other ones come out a little um stronger and yeah we were ready for the heat on this one we've uh had it a couple years before and it's it's so mild. We don't have our uh, orange juice or milk ready, nothing like that. It's a really productive pepper. It may not look like it from the plants out there, but we've had our, our own share of challenges and struggles this year and everything else like that. So we're expecting to get a bunch more now that they're off and hoping our season goes a little bit longer. But this is the hot red cherry pepper, or not hot red cherry, uh, yeah, cherry, cherry bomb. bomb. And... Uh, it would make a great stuffing pepper, a great uh, kind of a little bit of a pungent, sweet flavored pepper for, we use it for meatloaf. I, I thought meatloaf was the perfect idea for it to cook it up in there. It was pretty good. Um, and it's just great for snacking on. Yeah. I could just, you know, eat a bunch of those. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we're just like, super excited to start getting these things tested. We have tons of pep different varieties of peppers coming on and tomato as well. We'll be doing some tasting on some tomatoes coming up pretty soon. If our weather holds, we're uh, always about a month behind everybody else, but we have really fun doing these videos. Uh, hope that maybe somebody can take a look at this and find it interesting and give it a try. We would uh, highly suggest this pepper for anybody who doesn't like hot heat and um, likes peppers for cooking, likes the yeah. really kind of the pungent sweet. kind of peppers okay, yep. for cooking. So this would make a really good, I don't know, maybe pickling even on that one. Oh yeah, it could be. Mm -hmm. Or grilling or... Um, Outside yeah. of a bucket, the peppers will get quite a bit bigger too. So being that they can get bigger, they would make excellent stuffing peppers, almost like a more Just like pungent little, walled Like sweet finger pepper. food stuff, stuffing peppers, that would be good. Yeah. This is UT and Angel. Um, this is it's either this one or the five color for our yard, and this one's a little bit sweeter. So this one made it this year, and really excited to get some more of those growing. This is a cherry bomb. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. So a quick couple little uh, afterthoughts on this. Now that we're done with it, um, we do want to mention that it is a little bit of the thunder heat, which is more of the lingering. Um, lingering kind of heat that you might get from jalapenos or some of the more uh, pungent stored uh, style of pepper so it does have a little tiny bit of heat and it lingers around for a little while but it's nothing really really severe or bad um, this bucket is a bucket I found in a field not last winter um, we started these ones from seeds we should, probably should have got the bulbs off a little bit sooner and that one's going to round out a lot more. <laughs> but this is a really strong plant. Angel and me, we love this one for cooking. And uh, just wanted to kind of, after we test the pepper, give it a few minutes to linger and then do a little bit of afterthought on it. So really, really strong plant. Highly recommend it for anybody who uh, likes the pungent low heat cooking peppers and this is UT and it is August 14th 2019 love you guys thanks for watching